my name is Morgan, and today I'm going to be teaching you um, how to save a Word document. You want to go to your start tool. Most computers should have Word, and all my stuff has it. As you can see, this is the start toolbar. Down here it has search programs and files. You will search Word. Don't need to press enter or anything else. It should be the first one that starts up. Yours might not be 2010, it could be 2007, or anything else like that. Just simply click on it. And this should be what it looks like for starting up. It might take, take a couple of seconds for it to start up and process. And then you should be op opened up to a document. So also today I'm going to be teaching you all the tools on a Word tab bar. So let's start off. This is the paste key. Anything you have copied will be pasted wherever your document is. This is cut. As you can see, I have nothing here, so it is going out. Copy. So if you have text here, you highlight it, and you can copy it right here. Now it's copy. This is the format pages. Copy formatting from one page and apply it to another. And here's your text toolbox. This is a different font you have. So as you see, when we typed earlier, that was one font. You can put it on this. This is another font. This is another font. And this is the size of the font. And right there. Then I can write that. So you're saying like this, this is normal. Highlight it. And this is your bold piece. So at one time, now your words are bolded. Highlight it again. This is the italic piece. Click it. And it'll make your words italicized. Highlight again. This is underlined. Click it. And now it will be underlined. To take these off, all you can do is reclick again so that it's not yellow anymore. Reclick. Reclick. On the underlined key, you may see this arrow. You can click the arrow. And you have all different sorts of things you can underline it. And you can change your underline to a different color. This is text effect. I can change my text, text to a different effect. Like this. See the difference? This is the highlighted piece. You can take any color you want. Why don't I just take a regular yellow? And you'll see the little marker on your screen. You can highlight it. And now it is yellow highlighted. Another one is different color. Highlight off. And make, I can make it a different color. Let's see, why don't we do blue? Now it's blue. You can do red. Now it's red. This is the different paragraph. As you can see, it's in the paragraph section. Right now, it is on the left side of the page. If I put it to the middle, my letters will be moved to the middle. And as I type, it will be going out. This is the left side. All my letters will be going to the left. And this is my normal. It'll just keep writing all down the page. This is the outline. If I do this, it's on 1.15. Oh, it'll have a bigger space in between. 
one color, you can always pick a one point zero. This is the numbering. So if you are numbering something, making rules, you can put numbers. These are bullets. If you're making notes for a science class, you can put bullets. This is the multi-level list. It'll have different numbers, but it'll go differently. Decrease in depth. Increase in depth. This is the paint. It's shaded. You can make it your background a different color. And these are the borders. I'm not going to get into that. This is a show of high speed. And here we are to these different styles of lettering. Here we are here. All you need to do, you don't have to click if you're not sure, but if you just want to see what it looks like, just click, bring your mouse right over. You guys can go change. If you change style key, it goes over here. And this is the fine key, if you need to find something in a long document. This is replace. Select. Editing. And this spelling check is spelling and grammar, research, thesaurus, translate, set proof of language, and word count. So if you need your document to be in a different language, the Spanish class, there you go. And this is the purchase button if you need any more topics. Slides. So once I have my document, I go over to the file toolbar. Oh, we didn't go over some other things. As you can see, we have four different tabs up here. We have Home, Insert, Page Layout, and Mailing. We can go to Insert. This is Cover Page. If, if you want to cover your blank page, this is Blank Page for a new blank page. This is Page Break if you want to break your page in half. This is a table if you want to insert a table. This is Picture. If you have a picture you want to insert onto a document, clip art. Clip art is just insert any images that are on Microsoft Word. Shape. Insert any shapes into a circle, a square, a rectangle, a chart. If you're in a business, you might need a chart to show. Hyperlink. If you want to insert a link to a website. Header. To put your name on top of your paper. Footer to put something down at the bottom of the page. Page number at the bottom of every page to include the page number. Text box for an additional text box on a flyer. Word art. This makes your text decorative. Drop tap. This is the first letter of everything for the increased capital letters. Date and time. A table that would show the date and time, and symbols, like degree symbols, anything like that. Let's go to page layout. We have themes, different themes you can make for your paper, colors you can use for the backdrop, font, effects, you've already done over there. Margins that can go on the side of your page so you don't go over, orientation. Size of the paper to make it smaller, bigger. You can add columns, writing something for a newspaper. Breaks in the page, line numbers, or you can have this. Watermark. Make something over, just big graph. Page color, page, page color. Page border, kind of like a picture frame. Indent to the left, indent to the right. Facing, so we can open it. Let's go to mailing. This is just if you want to email your document to anybody. If not, simply go back to home to find all the regular keys. Once again, go up to file, click one time, and you have all the data. The first one is save, save as, open, close, info, recent, new, print, save and send, help, options, exit. 
If you have Microsoft Office 2010, like me, it should open up on info. All you need to do is go click save. The save on your computer. This pop up will come on and save as. It'll pop up like this. As you can see down here in the file name, don't change anything on here because it is a matter of fact, it's a Word document. Put it as anything you want. I can say demo Word doc. And then all I need to do is simply press the button save. There you go. That's how you save a Word document. And then just click X in your app. Thank you.